So in this video we are going to be looking at finding the volume of a triangular prism. So remember in our introduction to volume we talked about how volume was the area of the base or the base area. Uh, sorry I'm going to write it as base area because that's what I've been doing in my other videos. I don't know why I'm doing it backwards. We'll say base area times the height. Now in a triangular prism I'm not given the base area here, but in a triangular prism, the base has to be like the name. It needs to be the triangle. So I need to find the area of this triangle as my base area. Okay. So for base area, since this is going to be the area of a triangle, and I'm just going to use the triangle symbol, the formula I use for getting the area of the triangle would be base times height divided by 2. Now this is a bit of a problem only because when I look at this I'm using height twice. There are two different heights in this triangular prism. I have one that is the height of the triangle and I have the other that is the height of the prism. So there is a difference between the heights. The height of the triangle, so I'm going to use the little triangle symbol in the subscript to show that I'm looking for the height of the triangle there. And the height of the triangle is going to meet the base of the triangle at a 15, or at a 90 degree angle. 15, what am I thinking? The base and the height in the triangle need to meet at a 90 degree angle. So when we look for our 90 degree angle in the prism, we see it right here. And this 90 degree angle is touching this 8 centimeter side and it's touching this 6 centimeter side. So the 6 centimeters would be the height of the triangle. The other height we have is called the height of the prism. So I'm going to use a P in the subscript for the height of the prism. And the height of the prism, remember, connects one base to the other base. So if I think my triangle is here, I need to connect to the other triangle on the back using this 15 centimeter line. This 15 centimeters would then be the height of my prism. Okay? So if the area of the base is the same, as the area of a triangle, I find the area of a triangle by going base times the height of that triangle divided by 2. Once I find that base area, I then multiply by the height of the prism. So let's actually look at this one here. When I put in my base and height, so remember they had to meet at that 90 degree angle, which is why we're using 8 and 6. So I've got 8 times 6 divided by 2, and then the height of my prism is this one here, the 15, and it connects the triangle on the front connected to the triangle on the back. Okay, and so we're going to put in times 15. 8 times 6 is 48. 48 divided by 2 gives us 24. And 24 times 15 is what we're going to do now. So 24 times 15 gives us 360. Okay, so we're going to write in 360, and our units are centimeters cubed. Because remember, when we're working in volume, we have units cubed. So again, that came from the fact that I had to find the area of this triangle here on the front as my base area, and then I multiply that base area by the height of the prism. Again, be careful. We've got height of the triangle versus height of the prism. Height of the triangle, we need that 90 degree angle. Height of the prism will connect the triangle in the front to the triangle in the back or triangle on the top to the one on the bottom, whatever it may be. So here we've got another triangular prism. This one I can see all my sides of this triangle are the same. And yes, I struggle to draw them, so I apologize. I do have a 90 degree angle here and it's pointing to this yellow dotted line for the height and this line for the base. So again, if we were to start, volume is equal to the base area times the height. And I'm going to say the height of the prism, just so that we remember. 
Remember, I am looking for base area and my base needs to be this triangle. Formula for a triangle is base times height divided by two, and we're gonna call it the height of the triangle. Then I'm gonna multiply that by the height of the prism, so HP. The base and the height have to meet at that 90 degree angle, so here it is in yellow, and it's pointing to this side, which is nine, and this dotted line, which is a poor dotted line, and I apologize, again, I'm bad at drawing we've got 7.8. So when I fill in my values here, fill them in in blue, we've got our base was 9, the height was 7.8, and we're going to divide by 2. And after we do that, we multiply by. Our height of the prism here is 14, so we'll fill in the 14. Okay, 9 times 7.8 gives us 70.2, and 70.2 divided by 2 is 35.1. And then we multiply that by the 14. In total, we have 491.4, and we'll throw our units on. Units are centimeters. Since it's a volume, it's centimeters cubed. Okay, so again, I got that by finding the area of my base, which was the area of that triangle. The height and base of that triangle meet at that 90 degree angle, so look for the 90 degree angle to know your base and your height. Find the area of the triangle, and then multiply by the height of the prism. Last one, I can see this one is a or an isosceles triangle, because two sides are the same, this one and this one, indicated by those little red lines. And I have my 90 degree angle right here. I can see it's touching the 10 and the 10, so that's actually kind of nice. Volume is equal to base area times the height of the prism, and the base area in this case is a triangle, so it's going to be base times height of the triangle divided by 2 times the height of the prism. The base and the height of this triangle meet at a 90 degree angle. Here it is. 10 and 10, those are the two sides that the 90 degree angle is touching. So it's 10 times 10 for the base and the height divided by 2. The height of the prism connects the triangle in the front to the triangle in the back, and that is that 3 inches. So 10 times 10 is fi uh, 100 divided by 2 is 50, and 50 times 3 is 150. And here we're working with a unit of inches, so it would be inches cubed. So when you are finding the volume of a triangular prism, it starts off the same as everything else, base area times the height of the prism. The difference here, our base in a triangular prism has to be the triangle itself. So you must find the area of that triangle to start with. Remember, area of a triangle is base times height divided by two. But now I've got two heights, so we call this one the height of the triangle, and this one the height of the prism. Height of the triangle meets the base at a 90 degree angle. Height of the prism connects one triangle to the other triangle. So the one in the front to the one in the back. Okay, that is volume of triangular prisms.